Hi, I'm Ron Pars from parpools.com, and uh, today we're going to talk about two really common problems, but they're not they're not real pool water problems. They're more let's call it nuisance issues. Um, and these two nuisance issues, there's there really isn't any cure for them. There's no real treatment for them. Um, but I want to show them to you so so that you're not afraid of what's in your in your pool and just to give you confidence that you are treating your pool properly and we're just going to take a couple of extra steps which may help matters. These two issues we're going to refer to as dust bunnies and water bugs. First of all, dust bunnies and we just happen to have a customer who uh, came in this morning and she brought us a sample of her dust bunnies and as you can see that's what they look like it's just this this mass of dust and uh, actually when you take a look at it you can see you can see bugs and you can see just little pieces of schmutz and um, it's nothing a lot of customers think that that is algae but it isn't all those dust bunnies are, are collections of air pollen dust, dirt, depending on where, on where you happen to live. Um, this customer happens to have neighbors who have poplar trees, and poplar trees give off this really fine dust, and it's, it starts off white, but it accumulates and it just gets in the air. Milkweed can do it, that kind of thing. So it's nothing to worry about. It is common dirt, it's common dust, and it just happens to accumulate in the pool. You can help take care of that problem very easily by increasing the pool circulation. Typically pools that have poor circulation or minimal use are pools that have this dust bunny issue. So you can take care of that problem very easily by increasing the circulation and you increase the, the, the circulation by uh, either brushing the walls, by swimming in the pool, by using a circulator to give you better circulation throughout the whole pool system. Another thing you can do is make sure that your filter runs for 12 hours a day. But instead of running for 12 consecutive hours a day, break it up into four, pardon me, into three times of four hours running. If you have a timer, that's really simple to do. The other good thing about doing that, you'll, you'll be able to save money on your electrical because you're going to be running the filter during some of those off-peak hours. For example, on, on my pool here, I I run mine from 4 o'clock in the morning until 8 in the morning, and then it's shut off. And then it runs again from 12 noon until 4 in the afternoon. And then it shuts off from 4 until 8. It is operational between 8 and, and midnight, which is also an off-peak hour. And in that time, I'm, I'm getting 12 hours of, of circulation and filtration in my pool, and I'm also saving money. The reason why we do four hours is that once a filter, once a pump turns off or a filter system turns off, it takes about four hours for the water to become stagnant and still. So if we keep the water moving, you're going to help to eliminate the dust bunnies. And your filter will eventually move that. To help with, if you have excess pollen in the air, uh, the skim more, a skimmer sock works really well and it just, it, this just sits right inside of your skimmer basket and it will attract and help pull out some of, the, some of that excess pollen that, that's getting into the pool. The second issue, nuisance issue, that, we, that we're going to talk about are water bugs. You know, water bugs, you, they're those little, they're little bugs maybe about this long and they've got four, four legs on them and this, they just seem to scoot all across the pool. They are natural, they are normal, they're one of God's little creations that he's given us. And they like water. And there's nothing you can do to prevent them. However, what you can do is you can control them. And you control them by, by breaking the, 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 the water's surface tension. If you, if you break the water's surface tension, they are not able to glide across. Also, if you can break down that air bubble that coats the bottom of the water bug's body, they're not able to breathe and stay afloat or stay under the water. That's easily accomplished by adding a, a good quality algicide. And a good quality algicide is, is something that is 
going to act as a surfactant. So in other words, when you pour it into the pool, it heads towards any surface. And so that surface would happen to be a pool surface, your liner, uh, ladder stairs, and even a bug's body. So that's a way to take care and control of those water bugs. Other than that, you're going to have to live with them. That's it on, on uh, water bugs and dust bunnies, and I hope we've, that we've answered your questions on these two things. If you do have any other questions, you, you can email us at techhelp at parpools.com or visit us at parpools.com forward slash pool care. Thanks and enjoy the pool.